So start top of your mat, spread the fingers, take the feet hip width apart and draw your chin into your chest. Draw the belly button in for me. Tilt your tailbone and squeeze your bathroom muscles. You can just take your gaze down to the ground or you can even close your eyes and really ground down for me. I want you to feel your feet. I want you to scrunch your toes on your mat into the floor and feel all four corners of the feet. Good morning. Yoga time. Time to breathe. Time to settle. Time to get some energy flowing in our bodies. Now start that energy flowing with your breath. So start to breathe in through the nose and exhale it out, sigh it out. And again, deep inhale and exhale. Again, inhale, open mouth. Seal the lips now and just follow that breath in all the way down to the belly. Good, take an inhale, reach the hands above the head. Reach up, reach up, like you're yawning, and exhale, bring them back down, nice and slow. And again, inhale, reach up, look up, exhale, take them down. On your next inhale, reach them up, clasp the fingers, turn the wrists over, palms to the sky, Reach up, reach up. Maybe a little side bend. Now rooting down through the feet. Good, inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, other side. Press the hips out, root down through the feet and look up, inhale, all the way up. Bend the knees, take the hands down. Clasp the hands behind the back. Take an inhale, look out, soft knees, Exhale, fold in. It's our first fold of the day. So tuck your head in, try to lift your tailbone and take the hands off the bum. Relax your head, shake it left to right. Take an inhale, bend the knees deep, sink the bum, sweep the hands up above the head. Sit down in chair pose. Look up at the hands, lift up all 10 toes. And inhale, rise, reach, maybe come onto your toes, balance, exhale, hands come down through heart, take a breath, why are you showing up on your mat today, why are you showing up every day, what is it giving you, what are you looking for? Right where the attention goes, the energy flows. So you're opening up space in your life with a practice. You're calming out time, it's a beautiful thing. On the next inhale, sweep the hands all the way up. Exhale, soft knees fall down the center. Good, bring the hands down, relax the head. Put your hands on your shin, inhale, look out, flat spine. Exhale, fold in, look in, and again, inhale, look out, flat spine. Exhale, look in, one more time, inhale, draw the shoulders back. Exhale, come in on your next inhale, soften your right leg and raise your left hand up to the sky, a little spinal twist, maybe rotating the, car, the um, wrist, wiggling the fingers. Exhale, bring it down, soften the left leg, left knee, and lift the right hand up. Rotate the palm, maybe look up. Good, draw the hand down, take an inhale. Exhale, palms down, take the feet back, drop down to all fours, spread the fingers, curl the toes under. Bring the hands right underneath the shoulders, draw the belly in, drop the belly. Tailbone tilts, look up, exhale, push the mat away, suck it in. Chin to chest, and again, follow 
for your breath. Inhale, tilt the tailbone. Exhale, push the mat away. And again, inhale. Exhale, following your breath. Nice deep inhales, nice deep exhales. Come back to neutral, walk the hands to the top of your mat. A few inches forward, inhale, giant rolls forming. Exhale, bum comes back to the heel. Close your eyes. Inhale, drawing the hips forward. You're making giant circles with the hips. Spread the fingers on the mat and change direction when it feels good for you. Noticing which side feels a little different if that's the case. Follow your breath. Coming back to center and walking the hands back underneath the shoulders. Knees hip width apart. I'd like you to roll the bum back to the heels and slowly lift up into your downward facing dog. Adjust the hands, adjust the feet, adjust your belly. Relax the chin, Just paddle out the heels. So it's an upside down V. I'd like you to press the mat away from you. Look at your belly button. Release the head. Paddling out the heels. Good. On the next inhale, lift the left leg high to the sky. Good. Open out the heel into the bum. Just open up that hip, that side. Maybe rotate the foot. Good, take an inhale, point that toe to the back. Exhale, draw that knee all the way through to the ground. So your left knee behind the left wrist. Back leg straight, curl the toe under and walk that knee into the center of your mat. Look over your shoulder now. You've got a foot hanging out, wiggle it forward for me. Your knee's on the outside edge of the mat. Inhale up, release the back toe, and just sit right here in this hip, maybe lower down to the elbows if that's available to you. If you have a block, you can bring your elbows onto a block, and this fantastic, fantastic shape is called pigeon, and we usually do it at the end, but today, switching it out a little bit. Take a deep inhale and drop your chin. You can close your eyes. We're going to take 10 breaths here. So start to inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. Useless at counting, so you better keep count for yourself. I think we've got a few left. Slowly make your way out of this shape. Come back up onto the hands, unless you're there already. Maybe that back heel comes in towards the body. Look over the shoulder. Maybe the right hand can grab a piece of yoga pant, even maybe the inside of the foot. And just kick back into that hand. You get a nice shoulder opening. Maybe you can do all this stuff. I can't. <laughs> it's your opportunity to express your yoga practice. People can hook their elbow through, I can't, I've got a crap shoulder and a crap wrist and a crap all kinds of stuff, right? That's the point, we do the yoga that works for us, for you, not what you see on the front of a magazine cover and think, oh God, I can't do that, right? Beautiful, exhale, release, plant your hands underneath your shoulders, curl that back toe up and if you can, lift that leg right up to the sky and plant 
to down, paddle at heels, downward facing dog. Good, other leg now, right leg high to the sky, curl the heel into the bum, rotate the ankle, you can go with the knee, whatever feels good to open out the hip. We get to open it out before we mess it up. Reach, push the mat away, inhale, point the toe to the back, look forward, draw that knee all the way through. Might take you five minutes to get into this shape. Don't worry. All right, let's look at the setup. Right knee directly behind the right wrist on the outside of your mat. Other toe, wiggle it forward as far as it will go until you're stuck. Back leg, walk it into the middle of your mat. Look over your shoulder. Release the toes for me and stay up here. Good. So you're feeling it in this outside hip, you're getting a lot of compression in that nice curvy bum cheek. Go on, grab it, have a feel. If nobody else is, you might as well feel your own bum cheek. Good, relax, breathe. And when you're ready, slowly lower down. If you can, if you're stuck here, that's all right. Lower the chin to the chest, just relax. I'm gonna take it down here, and I'm gonna take my 10 deep, torturous breaths. Not torture, it's good for you. Breathe, close your eyes. Out to the front for me. 
reach out, take a deep inhale and lift hands and feet, really compressing that lower back now, locust pose. Draw the hands all the way behind, see if you can catch the tops of your toes or your yoga pants and push up into bow pose, releasing the shoulders, chin relax it down. Two more breaths, kick a little higher into the hands, do what you can, exhale, let it all go, bring the hands under the shoulders, press yourself up onto all fours. Good, maybe just wiggling the hips left to right, shaking the head, and when you're ready, take the knees apart to the outside edges of your mat, big toes together, find child's pose at last. <laughs> Walk the hands forward, we'll take 10 breaths here in child's pose, forehead comes down to the ground. Spread the fingers, walk the hands as far forward as they can go. And let your belly fall heavy in between your legs. Then maybe walk the hands over to the left. Right hand on top of left. So you're just getting a little lateral extension down the sides. Good. Over to the opposite side. Take five breaths on this side. We're adding a little more time because we've got time, right? Slowly release the hands back to center and on an inhale, come all the way up. Draw the body down, take the feet back, lower down. Bring the palms out in front and press. Elbows, palms, forearms into the ground. You're in sphinx pose, take your feet behind, drop your chin. Good, draw the hands underneath the shoulders, push all the way up to all fours. Curl the toes, hips high, downward facing dog. Pat on the heels. Come into plank, inhale, just for a beat. Exhale, hips high, down dog. Readjust. On your next inhale, let's lift right leg high to the sky. Draw the knee through to the nose. Draw shoulders over wrists, hug it in. Good, exhale, take it high. Take a breath here, inhale. As you exhale, draw that right knee to your left elbow. Come across the body. Now you can do this on your knee. Lift it high. Exhale, take it to the outside of the right elbow. So you can drop to your knees or stay on plank. Inhale. Draw that right foot, knee to nose. Good, take it high, change sides. Leg up, high to the sky, knee to nose, other side. Good, inhale, take it high. Cross the body, right elbow, left knee. Drawing the shoulders over, inhale, kick it high. If you're on your knees, you can do this same. One more time, knee to nose, knee to nose, hug it in. Inhale, kick it high, place it down, paddle out the heels, spread your fingers. Get your breath, press back. 
On the next inhale, left leg high to the sky. Exhale, draw it through. Stamp that foot down to the ground. Wiggle those toes forward. Stay high on the back toe. Draw the body right over that front leg. Take the left hand up to the sky. Little twist. Reach, reach. Take a little circle. Inhale, drawing the arm all the way forward. Fingers making a big giant clock face. All the way, inhale. One more time. Bring both hands to the inside of that foot. Drop to the back knee. Toe heel. Your left toes out to the side of your mat. Release the back toe and just drop into lizard. Releasing hip flexor, so us in here. Relax the head, we'll just take five breaths here. Take your right foot back, drop down to all fours 
also take your vinyasa, your lower down, release the toes, draw the shoulders back, look up, hips high, downward facing dog. Readjust your hands, your feet, paddle your heels, take two more breaths. On your next inhale, right leg high to the sky, bring it through in between the hands. Stay high on that back toe. Bring your body, bring your body right over that bent leg. Good. Now take your hands to the inside of that foot. Toe heel, your toes, your foot to the outside edge and drop down to the back knee. Release the toes into lizard. You're just feeling it in this outside of the hip. Hip flexor, if you would like to go deeper, come down onto the elbows. You've only got five breaths, you've got three left. If you're down to the elbows, come on up. Walk the hands, frame the foot. Bring the foot back to the middle of the mat. Curl the toe under, lift the knee, and lift that right hand up into Dragonfly twist. Reach up, get the rotation, and if you want, you can inhale the hand into a nice big circle. If your shoulders are tight, you shorten the lever and just rotate the elbow. You can still get some movement in that joint. Frame the foot, step the weight, and come on up into your warrior one. Drop that back heel. Dip in, relax the shoulders and look up. Open out to two, nice straight arms, take your gaze, front middle finger. Think about that knee. Take that knee out to the side, still in warrior two. Straighten the leg and three warrior dips. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, look up, both legs straight, exhale, inhale, exhale. From the inhale, both legs straight, take the arms down and out into triangle pose. You reach that right hand, left hips shift out. One hand drops down, one hand reaches high. Now really reach up with that hand. Rotate the spine open a little bit more. Breathe. Two more breaths. Gaze down at the big toe and use that hand to bring you up. Rotate the toes parallel with your mat. Lift the hands up, find goddess pose. Lift one heel, maybe lift the other at the same time. Take two more breaths here. And breathe. Inhale, come all the way up. Good, now dip down into left foot. Flex and extend your right leg. Other side, you can maybe bring your hands to your heart and transfer. Oh, you can just bloody drag your body oh, over this side. Your choice. Rotate round, back to the front of your mat. Pick up your back heel, hands to heart, come on up. And twist it out to the left. Really press back with that back foot. Look up at the ceiling and lift the body, lift the sternum off your leg. Good, gaze down on your toe. Right hand down, left hand down. Take the hands back to down dog, or you can transfer through your vinyasa, your choice. Exhale, hips high, down dog, and the heels. We'll do another round, just to get the body pumping blood, pumping oxygen. On the next inhale, left leg high to the sky, lift it up. Draw it through in between the hands. We can skip lizard and just 
Take the hand up to dragonfly twist. Make three circles for me. So a little flow to get us flowing. Get our blood flowing. Good, bring the hand down, drop the back heel. Come on up to warrior one. Dip into that front leg. Open out to two. So we're gonna just move with our breath. Let's do three pumps. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. This time, keep the hands up straight into triangle pose. Extend the arms long, reach over that front foot, reach towards the front. One hand down to the shin, inside of the foot. Other up, let's hold for a breath in triangle. Inhale, exhale, look down at the big toe, come on all the way up, rotate the feet into goddess pose. Dip down, this time, palms touch, look up. Dip down, look up. One more. Dip down. Float the heels off the ground. Pick a gaze point, a drishti on the floor in front of you. Helps the balance. Good. Release it up. Palms touch. Draw the body down. Skandasana, we call this one. Inhale through center. Other side. We'll do one more. Good, rotate the hands down to the floor, rotate onto the back toe. Come on up, hands to heart, and twist. Gaze up, press back. Good, look down at the toe, take the hands down, take that vinyasa, or I'll meet you in downward facing dog, your choice. So you can pump up your practice, exhale, hips high down dog, Paddling out the heels. Next inhale, right leg high to the sky. Draw the foot in between the hands. Stay high on that back toe. And let's go straight to dragonfly twist. Reach up the hand. Three circles, inhale forward. Exhale, back. Draw the hands down, frame the foot, drop the back heel. Come on up to warrior number one. Dip in, when you feel it, we'll open out to two. Three warrior pumps, inhale, exhale. And again, inhale, exhale. Look up at the hands, exhale. Come all the way up. Palms touch, extend the hands straight to triangle. So reach forward, stick the hip out. Let that bottom hand fall. Top hand reach, look up, reach up. Take one more breath, look down at the big toe. And use that left hand to bring all the way up. Rotate the feet round parallel. Drop down to goddess. Squeeze the fingers, shoulder blades together, belly in. Take a deep inhale, maybe <sighs> lion's breath. Stick the tongue out, inhale. <sighs> Good, clear some crap out of your life, inhale. <sighs> Come on to all toes if you can. Lift the heels, balance for a second. Second more. Good, inhale. Come all the way up and drop down to that front foot. Other side, you can walk the hands over. We'll try to balance, have a play. I want you to push a little more today, just in this middle portion. Drop the hands, rotate all the way around, stay high on that back toe, hands to heart. Twisting out to the left. Bring your belly with you. <laughs> Good, release. Step that back foot in to join the front foot. Bend the knees, sink the hips, come up to chair. 
Come just stand, palms at the heart. Take a breath. Bring the hands down by the side, step the feet apart and breathe. Take the feet hip width apart for me. Tuck your chin, catch your breath, slow your breathing down. On your next inhale, sweep the hands up, look up. Exhale, fold in, take your peace fingers and grab your big toes. Bend your knees to get in there. Take an inhale, lengthen, look out. Exhale, fold in. Try to lift the tailbone high up to the ceiling. Relax the head and shake. Side to side, maybe elbows out to the side, pulling up on the big toe. Good, release the toes, walk onto the upturned palms of the hand. Bring your toe tips into the crease of your wrist. Bend your knees and take an inhale, look out. Exhale, fold, then lift the hips, draw the head in towards the knees, suck the belly in, and draw the weight forward. Good, release the hands to the hips and slowly, on an inhale, come on up. Really slow, after you've been in a fold. Exhale, ground down. Good, inhale through the nose, exhale it out through the mouth. Mountain pose, reset. Feel your feet on the mat, how are you feeling? You're not dead yet, right? But notice all the energy flowing around the body right now. Okay, I'd like to do just a little balance work before we go to the floor. So if you need to go to a wall, grab a cabinet or grab something to balance on too. We're gonna bend the knees, sink the hips and come to chair pose. Good, stay in chair. Maybe pick up all 10 toes. Maybe come on to the toes and try lifting the heels. Look what that does. Ooh. Good, bring the hands to heart, drop the heels. Now pick up your left heel, balance it on the right knee. You're gonna make a figure of four and sit back down. Sit back down. Take your gaze onto the floor and don't move. We'll do three more breaths here. Three. right hand to the hip with your left finger see if you can grab your toes and lift on up if you can just hug your knee into the chest take five breaths there for me if you've got the toe you can extend the foot long in front hug your knee hey my feet are dirty terrible right in the bloody bright light as well three more breaths because i lost count Two more, one more, draw it back in, hands to the hips, everybody just extend that leg for three, two, one, shake it out, let it go. Take the feet apart, hands down by the sides, Tadasana, bend the knees, sink the hips, back to chair pose, look up, pick up all ten toes, maybe come on to the toes. Just play with your balance. Draw the hands down into the heart. Drop the heels. And this time, right ankle crosses over left knee and dip down. Breathe. Now, if you have to grab something, grab something to balance, grab a wall. So you'll feel this really kicking your ankle's butt. Take your left hand to the hip and try to stand up, option one, hugging that knee in. You can also hold on to something. Oh, bind the big toe with the peace fingers. Extend that foot out. Draw the shoulder back to the socket, but 
draw the hip back into the socket. Two more breaths. So you're either hugging your knee or extending the leg. Everybody draw that back in. Hands to the hips. Everybody stick your legs straight out, point the toe. Look at your pedicure that might be getting a bit bad right now. And guys, if you, have a, if you don't have a pedicure, go get yourself one. Do it yourself. Shake it out. Take a deep inhale, reach the hands high. Exhale, fold in, chest down to the thighs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, palms down. Take the feet back and lower the body all the way down, lying down onto the ground at last. Bring your hands together. Turn your head to the right. Rest your cheek on the hands. And breathe. Just start to settle the body down. Feel the belly into your mat. You can close your eyes.
slowly press through that left hand release that thread slide the leg down and slowly find your way onto your back just roll over for me just draw the heels in towards the bum press the hands down by the sides When you're ready, slowly lift the tailbone up to the sky into bridge. Shuffle the shoulders in together and maybe see if you can either press the hands in or clasp the palms. Lift a little higher. Keep your chin bolted into your chest. Please don't turn your head to look at your phone. You're not missing anything interesting. Just listen up. Lift a little higher. Push the knees forward. Draw the heels back towards the bum, like imagine them pulling back. These two opposite forces. Beautiful, exhale, release. Hug the knees into the chest. Oh. Good, give them a squeeze. Now maybe imagining above your butt crack there's a clock face, that's on your sacrum. So make a little circle around the clock face, keeping your hands on your knees. Don't cheat and grow from three to nine. That's it, inhaling slowly, just allowing the body to wind down. back to center, extending the feet to the ceiling, bring the hands down by the sides, point and flex the feet, rotate the ankles, whatever feels good, set to Dandasana, staff pose, laying down, if shoulder stand is in your practice and you'd like to take shoulder stand, Roll up onto the shoulders, shuffle the elbows behind, hands behind the hips to press up. I might have a little shoulder stand for myself. Otherwise, stay here and just let the legs, you can soften the knees and just hang, let everything flow down. To kick up, oh, it's been a while. And your boobs. <laughs> if you have boobs, they get in the way. Just lift the chin off the chest a tiny bit so you can breathe. <laughs> Dear me. Breathe. You can lower the toes behind your head into plow or just slowly lower back down onto the ground. So take your time. I'll meet you with your legs long on your mat, toes pointing to the back and slowly drawing the elbows underneath the shoulders, pressing the palms down, crown of the head reaches back and puff up the chest, it's called fish pose. If this is really uncomfortable, you can place a block or place a towel or blanket underneath your chest, underneath your back. Try to push through the elbows so you're not kind of dumping into your head. Push through the hands, open the throat, point the toes, breathe. Exhale, slowly release. Hug the knees into the chest, give yourself a squeeze. That's Blue trying to get out. He's like, it's almost ending, I feel it. Draw the feet down to the mat, open out the arms like aeroplane wings and take a spinal twist to each side. Spinal twist of your choice. So you can either cross the legs over and fall back. Mm, thank you. That's nice. It smells like dog food. Or you can just draw the knees up to the side, depending on where you want to feel the release. So knees together, just have a feel 
Turn the palms up and rotate the head over to the other side. Back through center, rotate, knees opposite side, taking a spinal twist that works for you. Rotate the head the opposite way. I like to cross my foot over, it gets nice and deep. Try to let go all tension in the body. back to center, give yourself a squeeze, take a hug in, maybe draw the forehead up to the knees, sip in a little more air, and when you're ready, just let go, draw the feet down to the outside edges of your mat, palms by the sides, facing up, and take Shavasana.
exhale, sigh it out. Slowly drawing the soles of the feet into the body. Just let the knees fall apart. Left hand onto the heart, right hand onto the belly. And just check in with you deep down in there. Because you're in there somewhere. Hopefully, after nine days, you're starting to come out to play. Maybe realizing there's something else a little deeper than just your physical three-dimensional manifestation, what you see in the mirror. What do you see behind those eyes? Looking back at you. Take a deep inhale. Exhale it out. Just maybe a little gratitude for this beautiful body that you've been given this vehicle to let you experience consciousness, life, all your senses you can see, taste, touch, hear, smell, you can feel, feel alive because of this body. So maybe thank it. Slowly, slowly, releasing the hands. Use them to draw the knees together. Oh, oh, oh. Might be a little bit stiff there. Hug your knees in and find your way onto your side. Waking up, coming back to life. Taking a breath. Looking around at the space all around you, becoming aware. And when you're ready, just pressing up to a cross leg. Comfortable position. Draw the hands in towards the heart. You can drop your chin in, take another deep inhale, and exhale that life. Inhale that life and exhale. Good, that life in me honors the life and that light in each and every one of you. Thank you, thank you for joining me for another hour of that life. Another hour plus a bunch more minutes. You know me, I'm not a big time person. It's the yoga. Namaste.